Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Rhymes Garage. This is my third episode already and today we are out here at the end of nowhere almost. Why? We are going to learn today about how to ride a motorcycle in the shortest time possible. If you focus and if you follow the uh, instructions in this video, I guarantee you that you're going to be riding, your you're doing your first ride on a motorcycle in no time. So let's start with the uh, first thing. So motorcycle 101. There is few things that you should do before any ride. Uh, first thing, obviously, it goes without saying, safety. Your safety gear is as almost as important as your knowledge of riding a motorcycle. Actually, it's even more important than that. Because when you're wearing your safety gear, uh, proper safety gear, of course, uh, you're going to be uh, protecting yourself. And remember that you're not only dressing for the ride, you're dressing for the crash. So we don't want that to happen, but you never know. Anything happens, you have to be ready. So first thing, obviously, gloves, a riding jacket, which has protection for your elbows, for your shoulder, for your chest, and for your back. Um, knee protection, safety, uh, safety shoes, uh, and over here, I did something extra. I got these, which uh, uh, they will cover my shoes because my shoes were uh, kind of uh, getting uh, damaged when it's rubbing against the goo. So this is a good addition. You may need it, may you may not. It uh, depends on your bike. Uh, and ear earplugs as uh, as well. Even if you're wearing a full uh, Full face helmet. I would recommend if you would put uh, some air protection because wind noise when you're going above uh, speeds of 100 kilometers per hour, it's uh, it's pretty noisy and it's gonna affect your ear after a long time. So uh, we want to keep that uh, earing uh, or hearing power for as long as we uh, as we can through your uh, riding career. So. That's done about safety, and I hope that I didn't forget about mentioning a helmet. So, obviously a helmet. Let's start with the uh, with the basics of uh, motorcycle controls. Uh, over here I have a Yamaha MT7, nice bike as you can see. Uh, the controls on this bike are pretty much the same on uh, on any other bike. It might be a little bit different from one company to another, or one brand to another. You might have different uh, location of your bottom, but Almostly, or usually it's the same. So let's start this bike up. If you look over here, there's lock, off, and on. So what does it do is, if you want to park your bike outside, and uh, you want some sort of security, you have to turn your uh, steering wheel all the way to the left, push it down, and put it in lock. And what this one does, it do, it locks your your steering wheel, so uh, it gives it some kind of uh, protection. Um, if you want to turn it on, you have to obviously uh, wiggle the motorcycle a little bit. But in contact, now it's on. Now the bike is ready to be to be on. We're not going to do that yet. We're going to go through the controls first, and then we're going to start the uh, the bike. So here. It's our uh, lighting button. Probably the bike has to be on. Okay, that's fine. So, high beam, low beam. High beam, low beam. And this indicator over here is for your indicator lights. Switch it to the left. Your indicator light go from the left. Right, I think it indicates right. Now, when, if you want to stop it, you have two options. You either have to Turn it the other way, just half a click, or press on it inwards. I mean, it's, it's a nice feature. It depends uh, whichever way you're you're comfortable with. Uh, this is the horn button, of course. <laughs> nice. Um, this is something that I have added. This is for my uh, for my group formers. May be there or may not be there on your bike. It depends. But this is an aftermarket uh, piece. Uh, up to increase the heat, down to uh, decrease it. 
increase and decrease. Uh, over here we have the uh, display unit, speed, kilometers, fuel, uh, uh, fuel level, time, gear. So it has the the basic uh, basic information. Different bikes, of course, it has uh, different uh, information on your display, uh, but this one is pretty basic. And this is obviously, I mean, this is what you need. You don't need anything else. When you're riding, you want to focus on your road. You don't want to look at your uh, dashboard or whatever. So uh, one good habit to, to pick up while riding is to, sometimes you might forget your indicator because uh, especially when it's uh, uh, sunny, um, that thing is not that bright. And those lights are not going to be that uh, shiny. So keep an, keep it keep it doesn't I mean in your car it will uh, your indicator will uh, give you a clicking sound over here it doesn't so keep a good habit of looking at your dash uh, at your uh, screen over here and see if you have uh, accidentally forgot to shut off your uh, indicators that's a good habit uh, we move to the uh, right side over here we have the ignition switch now it's on the uh, uh, on the off mode. Whenever you want to start your bike, you have to, as a good habit of practice, now you may see that your gear is on neutral. So if you start it, nothing's going to happen. The bike is not going to be pushed away. But as a good habit, as a good practice, uh, pull out your uh, clutch lever and push with this one down. I mean, uh, to, uh, to the push this one down. But before that, there's something good that we need to uh, look at obviously your bike is off now you're gonna push the bike and start it there's once you put it on a, on a contact it will give you you will hear a sound a buzzing sound Zzz. so this sound is the uh, sound of your uh, oil pump uh, what it does it's uh, it will pump fluid so that your uh, bike will be ready so it's better not to start your bike before you hear that noise stops we're gonna do that now I hope that you hear that now you can start your bike push your lever and start um, the last bottom I have bust last button I have over here is the uh, hazard light or the uh, emergency uh, stop brake light if you uh, click on it, obviously I forgot my indicator. So anyway, if you click on it, it will uh, put on uh, your hazard lights. You would use that when you're uh, when you are in an emergency and then you have stopped somewhere. You need uh, you want to uh, get somebody's attention that you need help, or you want to let anybody behind you to move away and not don't hit you. So this is a good. Uh, safety feature now we move downwards here we have the gear lever the gear lever as we mentioned earlier it's uh, now it's on neutral so to engage it you have to pull down or pull down the uh, the clutch and give it one nice click or full click to the uh, to the bottom you'll be in first gear and when you're shifting up, you have to give it half a click to go to neutral or full click to go to second gear, up. So one, full click down, half a click up to neutral. Again, half another, uh, another half click up is to second gear. Full click up, third gear, full click up, fourth gear, full click up, fifth and sixth. So um, on the other side, we have your rear brake. So I didn't talk about the front brake before because I wanted to show you them both together. Your rear brake is responsible for around 30% of your stopping power. Your front brake is responsible for the other 70%. It's much stronger. So whenever you're stopping for on a signal, depending on your speed, if you're going on a high speed, then you, I recommend you, or everybody who is more experienced than me would recommend you, not to pull your front brake so hard all the way inwards. 
instead of that what you should do is pull it gently gently towards you and let the bike feels that you're pressing the brakes and you want to stop what it does it will start shifting your your momentum or uh, from going all the way to the front suddenly through gradually going with the speed going down with the speed so what you do what you should do is again pull the lever gently from the front brake and the rear brake together never push your brakes all the way hard unless you really 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 have to uh, if your bike is not equipped with abs obviously it's gonna do a very long skid and you're gonna lose control on your bike and that's something which we don't know as a new rider always try to, I mean, not always try you have to avoid being going fast and you have to avoid stopping directly or stopping immediately without any uh, obvious reason so those two things you have to practice going um, i mean starting your bike moving forward and stopping your bike slowly those two things have to go gradually once you master those two techniques then you're i would say that you have did the uh, first uh, check mark in your bike and your riding career uh, i think this is it uh, basically one more thing that i like to do before uh, before any ride is to uh, check my tire pressure on a on a two-wheel motorcycle you have less contact with the with the ground not like your car where you have two four four tires on I mean, on the ground and you will have a obviously a large surface contact area on a bike you're mainly depending on on these two wheels and the contact points are greatly less than a car so your first uh, line of defense is your tires if they don't have the right pressure your ride is going to be wiggly and it's not going to be uh, it's not going to go smooth and probably it's going to cause a crash uh, we don't want that to happen check your tire pressure around 29 uh, psi or up depends on each uh, motorcycle uh, always go for your uh, user manual um, and see what's uh, what's recommended over there and always try to regulate that uh, tire pressure and then second of all is try to have a look at your uh, at your motorcycle over here and see if the tires are wearing uh, uh, wearing off so soon do they need to be changed um, that's a good habit I, I like to do that personally before every ride I think that's it so uh, let's start our uh, riding lesson okay so now you want to start riding your bike First thing you do is you check your your uh, your tires. If the tire pressure is good, normal wear and tear on your uh, uh, tires. Check them if they're good. Second thing is your safety gear, your helmet, your gloves, your riding jacket, and of course it's not just your hoodie. It's it has to be a riding jacket which has the uh, proper uh, shoulder shoulder padding, knee padding, uh, chest and back padding. Your knee pads. Your safety shoes, which has steel toe or a composite toe. Uh, more safety is better, of course, uh, by wearing uh, an ear. Hi, wearing an ear uh, protection also that will be good. It will help you to uh, protect your ears for a longer, longer time. So, before riding on your motorcycle, there's two ways. I mean, you have you can go from this side or from that side, but it's always better. And recommend it to get on from the from the left side. Why? Because the bike is already leaning over there. The geomet the geometry of the bike it's uh, it's already preset for you to ride on from the left side, and your bike will you know kind of take its proper shape while you're on it. You're going with its movement because once you're on the bike, since it's leaning this way, you wanna push it a little bit to the right so it will be in the uh, perpendicular uh, position well if you do it from the other side i mean you're going to be pushing your body from that side and trying to push the body to the right side so uh, there's a tendency of falling down so the proper way of riding a motorcycle is 
gripping your uh, steering wheel with both hands or at least with the left hand but I prefer putting both hands and then you're gonna move your leg all the way up to above your motorcycle and touching the floor so we're gonna do that together one two three now you're on I have not put my full weight yet on the bike see if I put my full weight on it and try to make it straight see how it turns it's when it want to shift to the right side so if while if I do it if I ride the bike from the right side balance is not gonna be good so the proper way is to do it from the from the left side of course so as you're on the bike you want to make your uh, steering wheel uh, straight now you're good now you're set okay it's, I spoke too much okay so first thing you want to do before starting your bike as a good habit is pull your crutch you never know it might be in uh, fifth, first gear I don't know so always be prepared pull your crutch put your bike on wait for that noise to stop now you can start your bike All right so what you want to do is go to a place where it's quiet like over here where I came to the end of a road nobody's here obviously and I have a good uh, maneuvering uh, distance I'm not disturbing anybody um, if you have if, if, if there's a, a better place like this like uh, probably uh, an empty parking lot on a weekend that would be uh, that would be a good option okay so now you're on your bike and it's on what you want to do is try to get a feeling of your bike try talking to it and this is how your body will talk to it is by getting by introducing your body to this new uh, new motorcycle uh, try to wiggle it right and right uh, right and left and see where is the uh, where is the center point of your bike see what's your best seating position uh, put your uh, put, of course put your back uh, straight um, move your uh, move your mirrors to see uh, most of you behind actually you don't want to, you don't want to have your shoulders blocking the mirror so then you you won't have a proper view no you want to move your mirrors so that it will have some of the least of your shoulder view and then the most of your of your uh, vehicles behind you while you're standing up of course when, when you're ducking uh, second thing is try to move it try to move the bike uh, frontwards and backwards and keep your hand on the uh, on the brake just in case if the bike was going uh, like on an, on, a, on an inclined or an uneven uh, uh, floor so that it doesn't move on you and cheat you okay try to move it a little bit up I mean forward stop backward stop and just uh, just to get a feeling of the uh, of the bike now you want to shift gears you don't want to press the acceleration pulling the or rolling the uh, acceleration towards you that's giving gas and you don't want to speed when you're first learning you don't want to speed at all you want to keep that idle all the way pushed to the to the front you're not going to roll it you're going to hold it but you're not going to roll it your left hand on the gear clutch your right hand on the front brake and your left or right leg on the uh, nice this is the best position before starting uh, starting your right left hand on the clutch right hand on the uh, on the brakes front brake and your left leg on your uh, gear shifter so you're gonna pull your clutch all the way to your, uh, towards you and give it half a click downwards to engage the uh, to engage the first gear now as you see that we don't have the uh, neutral light anymore and it's on uh, first gear if you leave your clutch suddenly or you leave it too fast 
what's gonna happen is that your bike is gonna move forward a little bit and it's gonna shut down on you. We're gonna show you how is that, how that's done. So one, two, three, we're gonna leave the clutch. Bike is off. You don't want that to happen for you. So what you wanna do is try to uh, try to find the uh, not try to find. You have to find the friction point and practice that. You don't wanna press on the acceleration at all when you're first riding. I mean, uh, this is your first ride. Acceleration is not your body. Clutch is your body. So we're gonna repeat that again. Pull your clutch. Now you may see that the bike is in first gear. We're gonna shift it to neutral. I don't like to start the bike when it's in uh, first gear. Nothing's gonna happen if you're gonna push, pull the clutch, but as a safety feature now, because you're a new rider. So clutch pulled, neutral, start the bike. Okay. Now you can uh, push down on your uh, gear shifter so that it's uh, on the uh, first gear is engaged. Okay, so now it's in first gear. What you will want to do is never press acceleration, but slowly leave the clutch lever to find the disengaging point. See? Bike is moving by itself. I'm not, I'm not putting any acceleration. Bike is moving by itself. I'm gonna release it slowly, 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 slowly. Now there's no acceleration, and there is no brakes. There is no accel the, from my. There is no acceleration. There is no clutch. The bike is moving by itself. This is what I want you to do. I want you to keep practicing the clutch. If I pull the clutch now, it's gonna kill the bike, and you're gonna see that it's gonna slow down slowly. Until it stops. So we're gonna continue practicing that again and again and again until you find the uh, until you get the hang of it actually. So again, leave the brakes and slowly disengage the clutch. See the bike started moving. You can keep pressing; it's half a press, so it's fine. Start going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to find that uh, friction point and loosen it. Find the friction point and loosen it. That will give you uh, a better control of the bike. Because remember, you're only a good rider if you're able to control the bike on low speeds. High speeds, anybody can do that. Just. Pull the acceleration and the bike is going to go forward. And God forgive you <laughs> if you are not able to stop. Good techniques, good driving skills only happen at low speeds. Do it step by step and absolutely you're going to be a good rider of one day. So again, practice the clutch. Now it's fully pulled. Brake is pulled. Leave, loosen your grip on the, uh, on the front brakes and start losing your grip on the clutch slowly slowly okay i want you to focus on my clutch see i'm losing the grip bike is moving forward slowly 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 can leave it now see the bike is moving now i don't even have to click uh, press the clutch i only have to press the clutch if i want to stop because if i don't stop my if i don't if i don't press my clutches the bike is going to be dead I will show you how. So let's take a turn from here. Okay. Bike is moving. I'm not pressing. I'm not pressing on the uh, on the clutch. I'm just gonna press the brakes without pressing the clutch. Look, I'm just pressing the brakes. It's gonna be dead. So when you're slowing down, click on your clutch. So again, press the clutch, first gear, let's try that, start the bike, you're good to go. Okay folks, <clears throat> so uh, that's it from now, keep practicing that, and you're going to be in my body one day, hopefully I'm going to visit you in, my, in your garage, you're going to visit me in my garage, you show me your bike collection, I'll show you mine, and we will uh, have a good ride together. Until that day, stay tuned, folks.